Hello everybody and welcome to today's stretching. So today I'm just going to continue on. You know it's all about consistency so I'm just warm it up. Very slowly stretch out those hips and give me forward. I'm working diligently on my legs. Um, I'm hoping to get to the middle splits by the time I turn 51, which is in December. But um, I don't know if that's going to happen or not, but we'll see. I'll just keep working. All right, so I'm just going to sit down. Rotating those hips down and then forward. Back. Now I think what I want to do is stretch out my quads first. They seem to be a little bit tight today. So I'm just going to lean back. And the quads can get very tight. It's important to tell them every day to stretch them out too. So you can just come up and down slightly. And slowly lower down. Can't really feel how tight they are. So while that's stretching out, I'm going to just do some arms. Slowly come up. Let's just come forward. I want to do puppy pose. So you want to put your chin down. And then back to child's pose. Stand up to tabletop. Stand up to the Thor spine twist. So hands on your neck. Deep breath in. You're going to open up to the ceiling. And lower down into the other side.
down. And let's do cat cow, so bing bark in. And exhale. Push everything up to the ceiling. Now we're going to bring your leg up beside your hands. We're going to lean forward, stretch out those hips. And let's lower down to the elbows. And stretch out that inner thighs. And slowly come up, walk your foot to the center, move forward, and back, forward, and back. And let's walk the hand across and let's lay the knee down, lower it down. And you can hold on to the knee, lift yourself up, head back. Now, if you can on this one, bring your knee up. And release. Put it down the other side. And also put your hand up above. Okay. Make 
child's pose, just open out to a wide child's pose. Then we're just going to walk our hands over to the left, as far as you can. And slowly come up from your knees in and then lower down to cobra. So push up. And then back into child's pose. Inhale down to cobra. Back to child's pose. Inhale to cobra. Now let's lay down on our back. And we're going to work the backs of the legs. Yesterday we did the sit up ones. Today we're just going to push up into the bridge pose. So squeeze your legs, squeeze your glutes, and push up. It's tight in your stomach. Inhale up. Exhale down. Squeeze everything tight. Squeeze. Now you might feel this in your knees. You can step your feet out a little bit more. Kind of takes the pressure off of your knees. So it's starting to warm up in there now. Squeeze, keep squeezing. It in and stretch out the glute muscle and the legs from side to side. Lower down. And back to center and to the other side. Same position this time. We're going to lift one leg. You can either have it straight or you can have it bent. If you have it straight, you're going to have to work a little harder. So pursue the heels, squeeze the glutes. We're going to do 12. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Switch legs. Do not move up. You can do it straight or bent.
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and again. And let's stretch those legs up. Stretch it out. Happy baby. And then extend it to a wide stretch. Nice deep breaths. And then back to center. And see we come up. And we're going to just sit with our legs open. And let's bring to the left side first. So we're going to lower it down. I'm going to push the thigh down to the ground. Keep it tight to the ground. And then swap to the center. And to the right side. Remember to push the thigh down. And then back to center. Keep your feet up. You can point and flex very slowly. You feel how each side of your legs are different. Each side of your body feels different. Now I'm going to grab my cushion and I'm working on the metal splits. <laughs> so I'm just going to sit on the cushion and lower it down as I extend my leg out. And just hold in that position. Come up onto my hands. I'm actually going to try turning the pillow flat. And my hip adjusting. So I'm going to extend my right leg out. Just using the cushion. Trying to sit up on the cushion. Lean to the right. And let's do the same on the left side.
Yeah, I want to just grab a little pillow. Pull it down. This one's a little squishy, but I just want to make sure that I don't, you know, tear anything. So let's go back into that position. Both legs out. Take your time getting there. Move the pillows and let's do a quick stretch of that hip, bend your knee up, your leg up, your foot up, knee up, foot up. You guys can see what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know what this one's called. But it's a great stretch to stretch the back of the hip after you stretch out your spines. And lower it down, switch legs. Let's just do a quick stretch forward, feet together, arms up, and forward, run to your elbows. Just let your hips fall open. And one more quick stretch for your back. You're going to come up. You're going to put your hands on the backs of your legs and lower down to your feet. Deep breaths. to come out of it, and lift up, back, and down. And one final stretch, child's pose. Come up, run your arm on the knee, spin your leg up, reach over.
keep your leg tight, your stomach tight. And slowly lower down. And on the other side, reach on down. Leg up, tighten your leg, and open up. slowly come down and that's all I have for you guys today hope you enjoyed today's stretching I'll see you guys next video like share and subscribe if you haven't already and keep you know that's just keep doing it <laughs> I know I say it every video but you have to keep being consistent and you have to just try different things I'm sure different different things for your body. I'll see you next video, everybody.